probably be in the house doing chores. But I decided that I needed some kind of life and I needed to join the world around me. And think about what all makes art and how artful and creative the world is and how creative the creator, the ultimate creator as I like to say, is. And just listen to that. You hear that in the background? That's creativity at work. I'll show you what's happening. So McDonald's is being remodeled. Totally cool. I've come to realize art is in everything we do from the way we eat to the presentation of Mexican food, in the case here, to who we communicate with and spend time with, um, friends, family, etc. So it was a great time and I enjoyed it. This is my first attempt at drawing a character from a story that I have in my head but I haven't written down as of yet. Um, his name is Yuki. Yuki is an exotic guy, and I don't draw too many men, but I just love him. So I thought I would do a mixed media presentation of Yuki, and here he is. I guess I would say I'm sort of fickle in a way because I love being outside in nature, yet I'm afraid of everything. So I kind of had nature in a sense by just going in my local area to place that I frequent often and enjoying the desert landscape that I was born in and that I've lived the majority of my life in and um, I just enjoyed it. It's so magical to me. So when you're around a lot of desert, you will think of plants and flora and fauna and you know, you try to duplicate some of that in your art, whether it's in pieces you do or, you know, your daily planner. And I love having a variety of texture in my planner. I don't just put paper on paper or stickers and washi tape. So yeah, being outside inspired me to incorporate some of that into my planner. And I love flowers, so you know, I always have flowers in there somehow. And I love twisted tree limbs. Um, I've got to do something that represents the different trees in the desert that I've come to enjoy um, and that inspire me. And palm fronds inspire me too. And I like making myself feel like I'm looking through the leaves. And so I try to incorporate that magic in all the photography um, that I do of my surroundings. It just makes me feel humble and happy and spiritual and magical all at the same time, if that makes any sense. So I just like to take a variety of shots because it relaxes me and I love um, seeing what I can do with the photos that I take. No one was sitting outside on these chairs and so I just love the red, the contrast of the red um, mixed in with everything else. I say go out and explore your surroundings um, from the modern architecture, geometric shapes that are used, the juxtaposition of fabrics and materials, um, to everything that you see in nature can motivate and inspire you to just explore and notice color and patterns and natural designs that are out there in the world among you, amongst you. And um, that's what I did. You know, I play around with the color of things sometimes in order to create my own little world according to what's in my mind's eye to actually just playing around with light and shadow and editing. I'm saying a lot of ends, <laughs> whatever, um, just to uh, see what I can come up with. And often what I see in nature motivates, motivates me 
to look for nature in the artistic things that I find and sometimes even in what I draw, paint, or color. Just like with this Inspire Bible, um, I love finding nature in some of the most unusual places um, depicted. And I love hearts and lips and heels and makeup and all that stuff. Women. I draw a lot of women because I am a woman and it's what I know I'm being a woman. And um, I've even done a lot of memes and ads and stuff using both women and nature. So I'm starting to put together a surreal Dada type um, planner and artwork and so forth and so on because I've always, always kind of leaned towards that anyway. Um, I guess I was just too, I don't want to say shy, but too um, afraid, I guess, to express that part of myself. And now I'm just really diving in deep with whatever I think of or whatever inspires me. So I just kind of thought when I saw these um, eyes, these eye beads, I thought, ooh, these would look cool in the center of a larger version of the petals that I'm mashing up and using um, in my uh, planner and journal and stuff now. So like this, these, but you know, when you're doing things on paper, you need flat surfaces, especially if you're doing it on something like a planner, a journal, something with pages in it that you've got to be able to flip and it not, you know, just be overly stacked and crazy. And then just the fact that it doesn't lay flat, will do that. Um, I'll give you an artistic quality too. So all kinds of stuff that I'm doing. And you guys are gonna be like, huh? Her day-to-day -day inspired her to do this. But yeah, sometimes when I'm in nature, I'm inspired to do things that are not natural. Um, <laughs> and I get excited about it and so forth and so on. So the others, I just have them kind of lay, laying there centered. And I decided, you know what? I'm gonna glue one. Well, before I actually glue it, I'll test it and see how I like how the page lays with that on there. So we'll see. That's all I have for now. If you like this video and you know it, click like or subscribe. Thanks so much.